Hi, my name is Amber Manson Webb. I'm an attorney at Edgar Snyder, and I've been with the firm for going on five years. So I grew up in Erie, Pennsylvania, and I currently live in Pittsburgh in the Brookline neighborhood. I have a lot of cases in Erie, and so it's always a nice way to connect with my clients who live in Erie um, because I understand the weather and how terrible it is. <laughs> I help people who have been injured in an accident so that they can focus on getting better um, and so that they can take care of their families and move forward with their lives. Uh, I think my teenage self would think it would be pretty cool. I always thought I would be a teacher or something like that when I was a teenager. I was also really into crime shows and things like that where there are a lot of lawyers but I never thought that I would actually be one, so I think my teenage self would be pretty proud. I would probably be a history professor and doing research and writing books. I always liked social studies, social sciences, history. I really enjoyed it, so I would probably be a history professor. I love to eat. I have lots of go-to restaurants in the city. My favorite is probably Thai Gourmet in Bloomfield. The food is so good. Everyone who works there is so sweet. It's just one of my favorite places. So I'm a big reader. One of my favorite authors is Stephen King. My favorite series is the Dark Tower series by him. It's seven books. It's a big undertaking, but I love it. Um, and I actually just read his book, The Institute, which was pretty good too. I'm currently watching Kingdom on Netflix. It's set like hundreds of years ago, and it's about this prince who is trying to take back his country and also fighting zombies. And that sounds ridiculous, but it is more so in the vein of Game of Thrones, I think. It's very, very I play the guitar, but very badly. Um, <laughs> So uh, it's a learning process. So I have a Fender Squire, like a little cute learner guitar, but I wish that I would have used this time being at home to do it more. I would probably be a lot better by now. <laughs> With collections, I have a collection of pressed pennies. It kind of started off as a joke. I had some pressed pennies that I had got from different trips, and I think all of my friends just thought that it was a real collection, that it was something that I was really into. And so now every time any of my friends go anywhere, they always automatically bring me back a pressed penny. So I have a, a growing collection. <laughs> I have one cat, her name is Kipo, um, and she is 10 years old. It is a weird name. I think it was just variations of cat, kitty, and then eventually she would always respond to Kipo, like, well, that must be your name. 